What's up everyone back for another beer review and today is day three of the third annual 10 days of pumpkin here on the channel and the beer I'm reviewing today comes from the Harpoon Brewery and they're out of both Boston, Massachusetts and Windsor, Vermont and this is their Duncan Pumpkin. So this is a pumpkin ale that is brewed with lactose, cinnamon, pumpkin puree, Duncan coffee and other natural flavors. It comes in at 5.2% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listen time of review. This can is approximately three and a half weeks old. So Harpoon and Duncan collabing again. Now last year, I believe they collabed on two different beers, both of which I reviewed on the channel. Their Duncan Coffee Porter and their uh, Duncan Summer Coffee IPA. I really enjoyed the Coffee Porter. It was actually quite good. It surprised me. It was tasty. I enjoyed it. But I really didn't care for the Summer Coffee IPA. It just kind of missed the mark. I do like coffee IPAs, but it just didn't work for me. So they are uh, right now batting 500, which is pretty good score. Uh, but yeah, they're one for two for me so far with their collabs. Now this year, for the fall, they have come out with what they're calling the uh, Duncan, Do uh, Duncan Dozen Mix Pack. So it's a mixed 12 pack of four different beers. They have the aforementioned uh, Duncan Coffee Porter. They have this beer, they have a Jelly Donut IPA and a Boston Cream Stout. I will be reviewing the Jelly uh, Donut IPA and the Boston Cream Stout after the uh, 10 days of uh, pumpkin are done. I won't review or re-review the uh, Duncan uh, Coffee Porter because I've already reviewed it, and I don't think, aside from putting in a can, that I don't think they changed the recipe or anything. If they did, maybe I'll review it, but I don't think they did. So uh, I'm really excited about this one. I like coffee pumpkin beers. I've already reviewed for uh, day one of the 10 Days of Pumpkin, Elysian's Pumpkachino, probably my favorite coffee uh, pumpkin ale or one of my favorites. So this one sounds pretty good. They're using Duncan uh, coffee in it. Um, and yeah, I don't like the whole other natural flavor. I mean, what does that mean exactly? I don't know. They're using lactose, cinnamon. Um, I don't know what that means, but hopefully it doesn't mean anything bad. So let's crack this one open, get it into the glass. Don't have any nails here, so can't really get it. All right. Whoo, that actually is pouring out with some, uh... huh. That looks milky almost to some degree. It almost looks turbid. I did not, I expected this to have a clarity to it and not be all... Wow, that, okay, so I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't know how it's gonna come off on, ca on camera, but in person, that does not look appeasing. Uh, that has this brown muddled, muddled color at the bottom here. It has like an orange, like light orange, but in here, just straight up brown. I don't really wanna say what it looks like. Uh, it has about a half finger of this light tan, creamy colored head, but that looks like, if someone told me, here's a, uh, so later on in the 10 Days of Pumpkin, I'm reviewing Wendy from um, Central Waters, which is a coffee milkshake, coffee pumpkin milkshake IPA. This is what I'd expect that beer to look like. It, it's murky and turbid. It almost looks like an oxidized IPA. That's what it looks like, like an oxidized milkshake IPA or New England style IPA. I don't know. It does not look appealing. Hopefully the smell and the taste of it is going to Yeah, so the smell's nice. There's a small, like, coffee hint in there. Not really big, just a small roasted coffee, almost like a light roasted kind of coffee, not dark roast. It doesn't have like an intensity that you'd expect. The cinnamon there, the lactose is giving me a nice vanilla. Yeah, it actually it smells sweet, spicy. A little bit of that coffee. It has a, I don't want to say this in a bad way, but this has a kind of like generic, hang on, I'm going to sneeze. <clears throat> Try to keep it away from the mic. But um, yeah, I don't know. Um, this just has kind of a generic pumpkin ale kind of aroma to it outside of that little smidge of coffee. Doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell anything like amazing. It just smells solid. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. It's nice. It's actually nice. I will say, probably from the lactose. I don't know if they're using oats or whatever, but this body... I mentioned in the Elysian review how um, I wasn't a huge fan of the mouthfeel because with lactose in there and it kind of being like a pumpkin spice latte in beer form, I want a better mouthfeel. The mouthfeel is almost uh, cola-esque. This one has the mouthfeel that I wanted from that one. Body's like medium body, which is really nice at 5.2%. The mouthfeel, it's soft, it's smooth, it has a creaminess to it. There is carbonation, but it's almost like seemingly somewhat under carb. I mean, it kind of drinks like a pumpkin spice latte of some sort. Right at the forefront, I'm actually hit with vanilla from the lactose. There's cinnamon, there's 
Also some like nondescript, so I just say like an allspice, although they don't say it's in here. Maybe that's the other natural flavor. That all hits me at the tip of the tongue as it passes through. A little bit of coffee comes in, kind of like the nose is more of a lightly roasted coffee. This does not have, you know, big, bold coffee presence to it. And again, this is under a month old, so relatively fresh. Right after that, it, so at the tip of the tongue, it's spicy. Um, then the coffee hits. And then on the finish, that it's like the spices come back. There's a drying kind of finish on the back of the palate, like a semi-dry finish. It finishes sweet. This has an underlying sweetness that I appreciate for the style because I'd like my pumpkin ales to be a little bit sweeter. They don't have to be super sweeter. I think just some sweetness to it, and it has it. It's underlying. It's, it's like underneath and carrying the flavors. But it finishes semi-dry with a nice residual sweetness, no bitterness to speak of, super easy to drink. Can't if 5.2%, not really. Yeah, it's, it's a solid, good, like basically a coffee pumpkin now. That's what it is. Here are my issues with it from a personal perspective. Number one, it's Dunkin' Pumpkin. Dunkin', the formerly known as Dunkin' Donuts, you know, known for their coffee. And I want more coffee in here. There is definitely some coffee. It's kind of, like I said, uh, middle of the, front to middle of the palate. But I want to be a little bit more... Uh, like a little bit more emphasis on the actual coffee itself. Just, just more coffee flavor. That's what I want from this one. Overall, the flavors are quite subdued. I mean, they're nice, but they're subdued. That's really the one knock I would say on this beer right now. I actually, though, like, you know, I can't really, it's not fair to compare this one to the beer I reviewed yesterday, which was Fathead's um, Spooky Tooth, which is Imperial Pumpkin now, but I think I enjoy this one more than that. Just like side by side, Jesus, I hope everyone heard that. Another beater of Akaras <laughs> said that in a review a long time ago when someone posted a uh, comment. I forgot which review it was, but I got another one going on. But um, yeah, comparing this to that, like that spooky tooth, that one's 9%. I mean, there's no coffee. There was not lactose in there and whatnot, but like this is this is more in the realm of what I expect from something that's 5.2%. Like it's it's subtle, it's not over the top or whatever. And but I just think I enjoy this one more than yesterday. I don't know why I'm comparing this with Imperial Pumpkin Ale, but I'm just saying, like, from a personal perspective and rating wise, I think I enjoy this one a little bit more. I don't think this is anything like to write home about. I don't it's not my favorite. I think the coffee, Dunkin' Coffee Porter is my favorite of the collabs I've drank so far, but this is still pretty good. Um, yeah, rating on the Dunkin' Pumpkin from Harpoon and Duncan. I'm going to give this a, uh, I think because of the mouthfeel, I'm going to give it a straight 3.75 out of 5. I think that's a fair score. I think the flavors themselves are like high 3.5, but I think that mouthfeel bumps it up. I like the body. I like the mouthfeel. I just wish there was more intensity to the flavors of this one. Again, keep in mind it's 5.2%. I just want more coffee, more flavors overall, but it's really nice and easy to drink. There's no harsh flavors. There's no off flavors. It goes down pretty smooth. Yeah, nice. It's nice. So 3.75. 3.75 out of 5 for a Dunkin' Pumpkin, um, Dunkin', Dunkin' Pumpkin, a Dunkin' Pumpkin from Harpoon and Dunkin'. Price and availability, if you see Harpoon, you should see this. I think they uh, also sell them in bottles. Um, I think they're, I think I saw six packs of this. I think they were like nine bucks, nine, ten bucks for six packs, which is a good, good price. Uh, I picked up the um, Dunkin' Dozen mix pack for, I believe it was $15.99 for a 12 pack, so that's a pretty fucking good price for uh, a mix, uh, 12 pack, four different beers, three of each. And again, that Dunkin' Coffee Porter, really good. Uh, I'm going to enjoy those off camera. And you have this one, the Jelly Donut IPA and the Boston Cream Stout. I'm going to enjoy trying all of them, even if I don't really care for them. It's still fun to try. And for just over a dollar a can, I mean, you really can't beat that. So I think good price and availability for Harpoon. So if you've had this one before, definitely let me know what you think about it. Um, like I said, good beer. Um, you know, some disappointing aspects to it, but I think for the price point, the availability, and, you know, for the ABV, I think it's pretty damn solid. So 3.75 out of 5. Like I said, if you've had this one before, definitely post in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this one. And I appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. We're done with day three of the third annual 10 Days of Pumpkin. Stop by tomorrow for day four, where I'll be doing Smutty Nose's uh, Pumpkin Ale. And that's a classic, like, East Coast, um, New England you know, old school New England uh, pumpkin ale, one of the first pumpkin ales I've ever had. And I'm looking forward to trying it and revisiting it for the first time in like seven, eight years. So can't wait to give that one a go. Appreciate everybody stopping by to the next one. Cheers.